India and the Nordic countries will host the first ever India Nordic Summit in Stockholm on April 17, 2018. This is a historical moment as Prime Minister Modi will simultaneously have the chance to meet the Prime Ministers of Norway, Finland, Denmark and Iceland on the sidelines. Modi will have separate bilateral meetings. The Indian PM and the Nordic leaders are expected to discuss democratic values, trade, investment, innovation and renewable energy. We all spoke exclusively to Indian Ambassador to Sweden, Monica Kapil, on PM Modi's visit this week to the country. India and Sweden enjoy very warm and friendly relations. We're both democracies. We have shared common beliefs in human values, human liberties. We enjoy excellent cooperation in the multilateral fora, particularly the United Nations. Now, India and Sweden are looking for substantial improvement in trade and cultural ties. Over 180 Swedish companies are already flourishing on Indian soil and around 70 Indian companies have reciprocated by investing in Sweden. India and Sweden will co-host the India Nordic Country Summit. This is for the first time such a summit is happening. It happened in the tenure of the US President Barack Obama when all the countries of Nordic region had this summit with a particular country. This time around it's with India. Focus will be on common things. Remember, Nordic countries have a lot of technology when it comes to renewables and this is something that India is focusing on. India has a number of flagship programs such as Clean Ganga, Swachh Bharat where Nordic countries can help and of course uh, uh, provide the technologies. But other than that, uh, Nordic region for the first time has been put in the idea of pan-Nordic area by any country. This time it's India that's coming up with this idea, pan-Nordic area, pan-Nordic region. And if you combine the entire uh, region uh, which consists of uh, five countries, uh, then this will be the seventh largest country geographically, twelfth largest uh, when it comes to economic terms, that's uh, GDP and of course uh, it has a small population, 26 million, the entire Nordic region, but uh, it has a lot of technology which of course uh, uh, can help India. Uh, Sweden itself, for example, works on, uh, on uh, uh, no cash. It's a, basically a cashless society, something that can help India. So a lot of things that India can get from the Nordic region and India of course can provide a lot of goods and services to the entire region. So that is the focus of the entire summit. A lot of things are expected to happen during the one day long uh, day summit. With media journalist uh, Ramesh Sidhan Sibul, Vion, Sweden.